Hey guys, I welcome you to this video. My name is Arijit and in this video, I'm totally excited about this video guys. This video is going to be more about platforms. Like there are multiple platforms in this industry, right? Here with uh, social media marketing, there are like five to 10 different social media websites where you can promote your business. So this is the most crucial part of any business model. You have to find audience in order to make sales the first thing is to get audience is to get traffic right so without traffic you are not going to make even one single sale so the concept of this e-commerce with shopify is that you have your websites so you have your store set up here let's say this is your store you have your store set up here and you are sending traffic from here to visit your store and people buy from your store but the concept is where from will you get traffic the main question that I get asked all the time, whoever is starting, whether it's a new um, new entrepreneur who just got introduced with this business model, he wants to test it out for a different, uh, like a passive source of income, or whether people who are interested to make quick money, everyone has this question, where should I promote my products? Where should I get huge amount of sales without investing a lot of money on ads? So. The true concept is that as you can see from this dashboard, let me just dive right into my computer now in this case. So as you can see from this dashboard, like I have one particular campaign, I'm going to hide the product name for, for like for the safety reason because I don't want huge CPM in this case. So even for this Q4 uh, time, I'm getting like $2, $3, $8 CPM. That's quite cheap guys. But what I am trying to say is that there are two kinds of platform with Facebook marketing, right? The one is itself, it's Facebook and the other one is it's a sole proprietor business like the Instagram. So where do you want to promote your business? Let me just uh, go to one uh, website. It's a business insider website. So a huge shout out to this website. So as you can see from the from the metrics they have analyzed like for Facebook, there are around 2000 million people for audience as audience for your products to be seen in whatsapp you cannot promote any business in whatsapp other than the whatsapp business model so that is uh, totally off the charts right now i'm not able to uh, tell you more about whatsapp business model because that's a different game, ball game messenger it's a part of facebook so nothing new in that case Instagram, I'll go with Instagram. It's a part of Facebook. I've already talked about this. Next comes Twitter. Next comes Pinterest. Next comes Ch Snapchat. So where will you want to promote there? If you combine all these things, I'm guessing around it's more than 2 billion or 3 billion people. It's more than 2.5, I guess, or 3.5. So where do you want to promote your business is the first criteria you have to think if you want to test multiple different ad sets if you want to like these sections or these social media platforms are basically helping you to have full control on your ads and this is the best thing guys you can just promote one product to one audience and if it doesn't work you just pause the ad you just move on to the next one that is the best thing you can do even for organic ad management also it's not for paid ads but it's for organic also if you like uh, promote one single product on pinterest by the way pinterest is the most profitable ones for most drop shippers who are in the fashion niche for instagram also it's in a fashion niche so you can promote your products on pinterest and instagram if you are into fashion kind of trends so the thing that I was trying to say is that if you are, let's say, promoting an organic, if you want, if you don't have a huge budget budget for ads, so then you want to go for organic traffic, right? So if you are posting a lot of pictures about your products on Pinterest and you get few sales from it, then you obviously know that Pinterest is working for you. You have to test it out on your own business. Like what worked for me privately, personally is Instagram. I am promoting products on Instagram. It's uh, doing great right now, but for some reason, Facebook is detecting a much more higher sales for me this Q4 because I don't know for what reason, but people are more so like visiting Facebook rather than Instagram nowadays. So as you can see from here, like this one campaign, this uh, this particular section like Facebook desktop view uh, got me one sale. I've spent around uh, $3 and I made back $20. 
So I'm trying to find different interests or audiences that are going to be profitable in this game. Like if I spend three dollars, I want to make back twenty dollars and something something of that line. But it's um, as you can see, it's not in a profitable stage right now because I've spent thirty dollars and I've made only twenty dollars. So ten dollars in negative right now. So it's a testing phase. It will become something like this because I have seen uh, most of the time like link clicks there are many entrepreneurs who are killing it on on facebook uh, ads and all they receive 6000 link clicks and about 200 people purchase from that so they have spent four thousand dollars for that particular um, audience or for that particular campaign and they have made back ten thousand dollars so i want to go in that route i don't want to just go in a negative route or even break even for that matter so the best way to find audiences is to test different platforms like this happened like instantly I, I was not willing to promote on Facebook but then I thought okay let give, let's give it a try and suddenly Instagram did not work for me and Facebook is working for me right now so it's a testing phase right so you have to test multiple different platforms you can test Facebook you can test Instagram you can test Twitter yes you can sell products on Twitter also there are multiple million uh, a million follower uh, Insta uh, Twitter accounts where you can promote your products to you can just post a um, comment on each each section of the of the what should i say of the post and uh, you can get few sales from that as well you have to test it out with your products pinterest is working best for me uh, for actually not for me but for my client websites whom i manage so they basically don't want to indulge into facebook traffic as of yet so that is why they are trying to uh, build up their audience first they are building their brand so that is why they are building different brand um, sections for different platforms they are targeting pinterest first then we will go to instagram then we will go to facebook and then we will think of promoting organically or uh, on a paid media platforms right so even for linkedin also it's not mentioned here but linkedin is also a good platform to promote products like those products which are having high ticket products like not like $50, $60 product. I'm talking about huge branded products like uh, uh, like a house, real estate business and all those good stuffs work on LinkedIn more than any other platform in this industry. So you have to test different platforms, whatever is working for you, you have to test it out and uh, look at the data. Like I, I am looking at the data right now. I'm showing you the data right now. No internet marketer is going to show you the data right of the gate right they are just going to tell you no okay do this do that and then you can expect some some huge amount of sales or something of that uh, fluff stuffs but i'm showing you right now like if i if I, if you spend like 30 dollars or more than that on testing you will find all winning audiences that's true uh, with just five dollar ad spend it's not ethical to just analyze the data from five dollar ad spend right so that is why you have to test it out like building a brand is should be the first criteria in your mindset because if you're thinking of making it quick rich money scheme like if i would have thought something like that i would have spent like ten thousand dollars in this particular campaign and made back like at least fifty thousand dollars or or roughly thirty thousand dollars to be honest with you fully honest with you but i'm testing this as as because i want to build my brand i'm not focusing on drop shipping right now because uh, this is actually drop shipping but I'm making it sure that people don't misunderstand this as drop shipping. I'm trying to build brand first, then I'm going to go for fulfillment. I'm just testing out which products are working for me. Then I'm going to outsource the products to my warehouse or, or to a different warehouse in the United States. And from there, I'm going to sell those products directly to the customers. That is how I build audience. That is how I test products and services. So you should also do the same. Don't just focus on uh, making quick money this is not a quick rich scheme it's a e-commerce business like amazon does like flipkart does for indian viewers like walmart does like target does i can name hundreds of different websites where people are drop shipping the product but you won't understand like uh, the products are drop shipped they would make you feel like those are branded products so i've seen some websites like that so whatever i've talked about in this video i hope you get the idea of testing multiple different platforms don't just focus on one single platform at a time don't just put all your eggs in one single basket if you make profits from facebook reinvest that money into instagram if you make money on instagram reinvest that money on pinterest like move on from one single platform to another and build a funnel kind of system go from facebook first 
become an expert in that then move on to the next one then move on to the next one and you can build multiple sources of platforms where you can get huge amount of money you can even sell products on amazon to be honest with you like those wholesalers who are doing uh, amazon fpa or those entrepreneurs who are doing fpa they are basically outsourcing bulk quantities of product from china like aliexpress and they are outsourcing that to amazon warehouse and they are selling huge amount of money i i have seen live people making like $20000 instantly guys so anyways i do hope that you find value in this video and i do hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as i upload a new video and thank you all for i have reached around 50 subscribers roughly around 50 subscribers not a lot but it's a good start for me so anyways i'll catch up with you in the next video till then bless you and become successful